Dylan is in for Al right now. A lot of people talk about the storm surge. Tide timing is really important on that. It's very important. And as of right now, it looks like this storm could move in overnight at the time of low tide. So that could help alleviate some of the most dangerous uh, storm surge. But we're still going to see that uh, next high tide around 8 o'clock Saturday morning, and that could create some coastal flooding naturally. So winds right now are up to 110 miles per hour. It is, this is a Category 2 hurricane, and we are looking at that life-threatening storm surge devastating flooding because of the speed at which this storm is moving very, very slowly once it makes its way on shore. And we also have the threat of damaging winds and possible tornadoes today as this storm continues to whip its way towards the shore. So we're looking at the forecast of a Category 3 storm making landfall around 1 a.m. Saturday morning. Then watch as the storm just meanders along eastern Texas, and it's going to produce several days of rain. Here we are Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the morning. So we do have flash flood watches in effect for a good chunk of Texas. Texas, including Houston, even extending all the way west into San Antonio. We're looking at a widespread 15 to 20 inches of rain, but some areas could end up with 35 inches of rainfall. This is a very low-lying area, so that's why we're expecting the devastating it's flooding. It's so hard to believe we could still be talking about it well into next, next week. week. Easily into next week. The storm has no steering current to push it away, so it's just going to sit there. All right, that's going to be the story. You'll have much more on this throughout the morning. Thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.